Hi, welcome back. This is Enter the Matrix on the PC. I've actually got it on the PS2, um, still in sort of disc copy of, of it. Um, I used to play it there, so my load games and save games would be on that one. I haven't really got too far on the PC port. Um, and I've also got a controller that I've mapped everything to custom, so all the keyboard controls into the controller. And what you'll notice as well, one more thing, is I'm using unlimited focus. And I've got unlimited health on. Oh, I keep missing them. I've got unlimited health on and unlimited um, bullets. So I should sort of uh, make things a little bit more interesting. Just trying to get used to the controls a little as well. I haven't really pre practiced much before this video. Um, so just sort of figuring out a few more controls. Um, if you're running walls, just run into the wall. Yeah, okay, that's it. And I'm sure you can run like across. Like. That's what I was looking for there. So, um, let's shoot these guys here. Okay. There's another one down the back. Let's take care of him. Actually, just turn these guns off and let's go for him manually. Oh, you only needed, he'd probably been shot twice. That's the, uh, oh, that's going into the pipe there. Uh, he's been shot twice, so he needed one hit. Um, what I remember with this game was the levels are very bland. Um, very, very bland looking levels. Oh, he done the, the run and jump kick off the wall. That's cool. And you can... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, if you if you aim into the sort of sides, you can do those jump kicks, which are really cool. Like that. Oh. <laughs> he was in my way then, so I couldn't actually do anything with it. Oh. That's what I was looking for there. Um, yeah, so to be honest with you, it's a pretty cool game, especially for its time. Um, you've got a lot of similar games. You've got, uh, obviously, things like Max Payne. Um, you've even got another Matrix game like this called The Path of Neo, which probably a few of you might be a little more familiar with. I I actually love this game, and I love this game so much I refuse to really play Path of Neo. But what's really weird about that is I was really devastated that Keanu Reeves wasn't in this game. But yet again, he's in Path of Neo. I just didn't feel like it was as good. But I did try it the other day on an emulator, and I'm pretty sorry I missed out on that one because it's actually not too bad. Um, so I'll definitely give that a try again soon. And if anybody wants to see it, just let me know and I'll stream that. That's uh, no problem at all. And it's even got me thinking, I probably want to try and uh, stream some um, PS2 titles. So I might even start with something like Metal Gear Solid 2. I love that game, uh, Sons of Liberty. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably stream one or two PS2 games on the channel as well in time. What I like to do uh, with my channel is just sort of show gamers who may not even be into games or something or may not know about certain games, just a brief overview of the game. Uh, so the videos will last anywhere between say five and 10 minutes. You can actually see then, you know, what's involved in the game, whether you like the game or not. And um, if anybody ever wants a long play of the game, thus I play through the entire game or I just upload hour long videos of the game, I might start doing it with The Witcher. Just let me know and um, yeah, I'll just upload more gameplay. But I like to just give everyone a brief taste of the games and then my channel contains, I suppose, all the games and you can kind of see what you fancy if you're a bit of a non-gamer, as I said, see what takes your interest. And hopefully I can help out some people like that, uh, make some decisions on games they've never played or just gems that they've forgotten about. Right, I've fallen off here. I've got to get back up. And if you're ever in this level, stay up here. This is important. So what we'll do is we'll run and jump with focus across here. I always remember on the PlayStation looking around for like about an hour or so trying to get out of this level, but that's all it required. You'll naturally fall off there, which will make you go back up there again. Let's fight these uh, dudes though, because at the end of the day, we've uh, got to take care of them down here because it's going to be harder up there. I'll try and do some sort of hand to hand combat with these guys. So, hang on one second, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have climbed up there. I got the focus on again right now. Oh, that's a cool one. 
So he's suffering. Ah, that's what's going on. He's trying to cover up because he's suffering with the gas. Oops, I missed him. Uh, there's gas all in the room. And he's trying to sort of cover his mouth rather than fight for a minute. So uh, he's not pulling off the moves as cool and sleek as he was earlier. Okay, right. They're all taken care of. They've all got the gas masks, though. So I best get out of here. <coughs> uh, luckily, I've got the health tree down, so I'm not even suffering from the gas. Oh, uh, no, we don't want to do that. <laughs> That's another problem. If you... Um, oh, a few more guys have come. Let's just deal with these. Okay, I think everybody's taken care of. So let's climb up here again. And if you're ever stuck, and what will happen if you're stuck for quite a while, I'm sure a navigation icon comes up and it says, like, look for the skylight or something. So, up, oh, you definitely don't want to do that. If you start to run up the wall, come away, try it again. Ah, there it is. So just run and jump. You should clear that with a bit of focus time. Turn it off when you get to the edge because you don't want to do a backflip on the wall. And then you're going to want to run here with a bit of focus as well uh, you don't need it but it helps run here and then you're gonna wanna run here there we go and then just oh, broke the light without going through we're into the next level um, very <laughs> what I didn't like about this game but I suppose it's meant to be that way because of the matrix but I didn't like the bland level designs it really really annoyed me as a child well not child but I was just a bit younger um, the bland level designs was awful on this game, but yet again, as I said, I think it's on purpose. Something to do with the actual Matrix itself, the movie, you know, the premise of what the Matrix is, so maybe that's why they're so bland. Okay, so we took care of those. Let's just take a look around here. Oh, okay, we got a few guys through the cage. Let's turn on a bit of bullet time, dodge all these bullets. And let's try and take care of these then through the cage. Shouldn't be much more left. There we go. And they're taken care of. Let's take a look around the corner. Nothing going on here. Okay, okay, we enter cutscene. Hello, Buster. My dog just come up. He's on a little sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, sorry, if anybody wants to see any long plays of the game, I'll do more than these sort of five to ten minute videos and I'll upload that. I can play through the entire game. Um, and the other option is um, to play more PS2 titles as well. So this is obviously a PC port, but it's originally a PS2 game. Um, okay, so let's pull out, uh, let's try and, try and flick through here, is it? Oh, let's just see, there's bound to be a cool way to jump through this. The, the thing is, is he does do a cool jump when he shoots in, and he kind of spins and twirls. You saw it earlier, obviously. But, and that's the kind of jump I should be doing through here, but there's no enemies. <laughs> so I just have to do that uh, flip. Okay, let's take a look around. Oh, got a guy right there. Let's put a gun away and let's do some bit of hand-to-hand -hand combat. I've done enough of the uh, shooting. Right, so... Obviously, this is in slow motion because I'm holding L1, which is unlimited actually right now. So I could just fight them like that, you know, all fast and stuff. But it just looks cooler in slow motion. I'll do like one or two hits and then we'll go in slow motion to do the finishing kick. There we go. That looks nice. Oh, I took them both out at once. That was cool. And let's just finish this guy off. Okay. And... It's prob oh. Let's pull up my guns and finish these guys off with the guns. OK. 
Okay, so this guy's still alive. Let's finish him off and let's take a look at the next level. Level probably exactly the same as this level. <laughs> these early parts of the game they're so similar when you're running through these areas. Um, okay, I like the nice change here though. As I say it, we come into some kind of offices. These these are a bit nicer. Um, let's see now there should be some enemies hopefully around here so I could do that sort of twirling dive through the glass like I talked about let's take a look see what we got here and there's gonna be a door oh there we go there's a door there oh there they are right okay so we can do that cool dive through the glass there it is and then we'll just run up to him finish him off up oh, he's already down Careful not to shoot the hostages. Um, okay, so there's the hostages. How do I free those? Um, right, there's a hand icon. So I mean, press square like the door. Oh, no. <laughs> What's that about? It just killed one of the hostages. <laughs> just killed an innocent guy. Oh, my God. Oh, that's ridiculous. It it came up as like a green icon. You'd think that means to like press to untie maybe. <laughs> just, just finish the video off by killing an innocent man. Lovely. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh my god. Right, okay. Definitely don't press the same again here. I think, to be honest, this is about as much as I can take the video anyway too. Uh, you need to power up the lobby elevator. There should be a switch somewhere. Okay, instead of endlessly looking for some switch... Which I might find straight away. Oh, actually, I did find straight away. There's the switch. Um, let's just take it to the edge here, and hopefully we can uh, wrap up the video, really. There actually requires more. I did press the switch, but... And it is blinking now. Which means that uh, I need to find some kind of an elevator. But anyway, I, I will leave it there. Um, and, yeah, I just hope you enjoyed. It's been nice bit of nostalgia really this game is uh enter the matrix uh not so good in 2021 but it's still you know still cool it's innovative it's done a lot of things at the time the slow motion stuff's really cool the action so yeah hopefully you enjoy it try it out one day if you've never checked it out and thanks for tuning in take care